What's up guys, Mark back here with another exciting episode of Avion Awesome. Um, so my solar panels came in today, hang on man, God bless. Okay, so my solar panels came in today, but I'm already balls deep in another project. I'm trying to uh, make sure that everything is, is as weather sealed as it possibly can be. So I'm using some of this, uh, What a, I, I don't know, I don't really know what it's called, to be honest with you. It's called like Henry something extreme, 12 year... I don't know. It's supposed to basically go on the roof, but I am actually going to be using it in the garage compartment because, you know, you're you're throwing wet stuff in there. You know, if you happen to get up and you're going to be traveling on, you know, an early morning, you're going to be there's going to be dew. Uh, maybe it rained last night. And now you've got to throw all your wet shit in there. Well, that is now going to be completely weatherproofed. So I'm going to put this stuff in there. I'm just going to roll it rolling rolling all on the th all on the things in there and i'm just gonna waterproof the ever-living crap out of it i tell you what so unfortunately i did not have a paint stick but this plastic knife seems to be working just wonderfully Now I've got to cut this stuff out of here. I wanted to make sure that I sealed up a lot of the uh, the cracks from the old wood. Uh, this floor is still solid. It doesn't feel super duper weak in here, and it's not like I put super uh, a lot of heavy stuff. But uh, since it is going to be more of a full time uh, situation, I want to make sure that it is as uh, I don't know operable and functional as possible. I would just like to say I've never been the painter in the house that was always her thing because she actually liked it I honestly I would rather take an ass whooping than do this but when you ain't got anyone around to kick your own ass you just go ahead and pick up that paintbrush and get your punk ass to work but I will say that uh, this floor is gonna be so gosh darn weatherproofed it's not even going to be funny so i hope hopefully the 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 plan is, is that you know with all the small little gaps filled up and uh you know this is basically silicone based paint uh it's made for roofs uh but because this is a garage and you know you're going to get all kinds of water and stuff in there i kind of wanted it to be a bit more waterproof than what it really was i don't know why people spend thousands upon thousands of dollars to buy something like this and then just like neglect it i mean even if you don't use it why don't you just try and take care of it someday you might want to sell a damn thing oh man all right so that's that's finally done i've got the um the weather sealing all down in uh this garage compartment i mean it doesn't look horrible but i still kind of feel like it's not done yet so i mean it's definitely brighter and stuff in there and it's now waterproof so that's good but I think that I might just carpet this area with some, like, automotive carpet. Uh, just to kind of add uh, an extra layer of protection. I still need to cut out the extra foam in those corners. The rest of the place completely exploded. Got all kinds of crack fillers and all kinds of paint and extra little things. See, we had redone this whole camper like last year when we first bought it so i mean all the major stuff got done but i mean we weren't ever planning to do any sort of like full-time uh stuff until like years down the road like that wasn't even like on the radar that wasn't even on the roadmap at least for years down the road so now i am literally having to do everything as fast as i possibly can in as an efficient manner as I possibly can in order to make it like actually livable, not just campground livable. Uh, I don't really enjoy campgrounds all that much. I mean, I know that they're pretty nice and you know, you've got plenty of hookups and you've got all your uh, electricity and your water and all that kind of good stuff, but I know how to boondock. I am uh, an avid hiker and backpacker, so it's not like I don't know how to go days and days and days with just the minimal essentials. Alcohol, stove, 
you know, dehydrated food, uh, make my own jerky, all that kind of stuff. I'm quite skilled in those areas. But, you know, if you're, if you're going to have a house and it's going to be this, uh, you know, you have to make it as weather tight, weather sealed, as tip top as you possibly can. I mean, it's one thing if you're, you know, tarp or something leaks while you're out camping. You know, you just patch it, go buy another tarp, whatever. But when it's your house and you've got all of your expensive shit in there, then nah, you really don't. You do not want any of that stuff being ruined. So, thankfully, we do not really enjoy any of the traditional type of campers. Uh... I've always been a fan of tin can, vintage, aluminum style trailers, uh, whether that be, you know, the Spartans, love Spartans, oh god, the Spartan Manor would just tickle me pink. But I also really like Airstreams, although I really love the Avions. Uh, the Avions were uh, made by the same people that used to work for Airstream, and then they kind of split off. And then started making their own up until about 1978 when Fleetwood bought them. But the chassis on this thing is built like an absolute tank. There are no I-beams on this thing. This thing is actually tubular steel. And it's laddered all the way down from the front of the tongue all the way to the back bumper. This thing is solid as a rock. And over the last several days, I've also... I've been using my propane stove quite a bit more been making my coffee in this uh, double walled kettle I actually really like this thing uh, of course with it being a gas stove everything heats up quite quickly and cooks quite fast so that's always a plus honestly I was a little skeptical about these Vornado fans I really was but these Vornado fans provide a lot of extra auxiliary airflow um, and if it's a nice, you know, uh, if, if it's nice weather, like if there's not a lot of humidity in the air, these things actually do move so much air. It's not funny. It honestly keeps me quite cool uh, in the times when, you know, I just don't really feel like running an air conditioner. I mean, they're just loud as hell. Rooftop air ACs, I'll be so glad when and if someone gives me a 4K flippy air conditioner. I want... Something that's not un obnoxious, like, and they just are. They're just absolutely, positively the loudest thing you could ever put. It's like, okay, I'm going all the way out to God knows where to enjoy a little bit of nature. What I really want to listen to is that loud ass AC the whole damn time. But at any rate, I am uh, going to kind of tidy up, kind of put all of my things away, kind of, you know... Straighten this place up just a little bit before I go to bed because I've got a long day tomorrow. I'm going to unpack those solar panels and start kind of figuring out how I want to arrange them. I need to figure out what my configuration is going to be uh, up on the roof. Uh, like I said, I've got 600 watts total of solar panels. I've got 430 amp hours of battery. In the grander scheme of things, my power needs are really going to be completely met. I'm not really all that worried about you know, ever having to actually hook up to shore power. I, I'm going to have more power than I'm probably ever going to be able to use. All LEDs, uh, most of this stuff is on 12 volt. The only couple of lights that I have in here that are AC are those that are behind me. And uh, honestly, I just like those just because I like the look of them. I mean, comple they're completely unnecessary, but I just like the look. So, like I said, I'm going to call it a night. I hope you guys have a fantastic evening yourselves. And I will see you guys again, hopefully tomorrow while I'm putting up solar panels. Peace!